Hello everybody, welcome to another video of Pools Grab Back. Today we're going to play some more Walking Dead because I have the Walking Dead itch. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. This video has violence, blood, cursing. Make sure you guys grab your snack and your drinks. And hopefully we can all enjoy another round of the Walking Dead. Now, let's all pause this. I need to set up now because my back is killing me. It's been like it's been like two minutes since the last video. And before we start, I'm taking a sip of my nice cold water because I'm dying of thirst. Because <laughs> I, talk I talked a lot last video. My mouth was dry. Okay. Let's begin this. What? Just saying. Look, I didn't know any of that was gonna happen. Sorry if it caused you guys problems. Uh, um. Hello, Clementine. I'm Violet. Nice to meet you. What he said. All right, boys and girls. They're starting to fill in. Come on. Be careful out there. Don't mind Violet. She, uh, grows on you. I promise. Oh, this? It's a chair leg. I call it Cheryl's. <laughs> mm, nice name for a weapon. Hey, let me help. I Cheryl's need you to watch my back. Call out from inside if you see anything. Cool? Okay. See you on the other side. Cheryl.
girl. Shh, shh, hey, hey. It's all right, girl. It's all right. Hey, see you and Rosie are making friends. Had a bad experience with the dog ones. Well, Rosie here can help you get over it. She's as cuddly as they come. Oh, except when she's mauling walkers, that is. <laughs> yeah, I don't like the dogs either. That walker came out of nowhere. All right, all right, fun's over. Let's get inside. <sighs> Fucking starving. You're not the only one. Yeah, go out this, there. that can be bad memories of nice, a stitching it's so nearly dry. I can barely find enough for tonight. We're gonna have to scout out further if we want food for the winter. We'll talk about it later. Bullshit. We should talk about this right now. I said later, damn it. Still standing, I see. I'd call that a B-plus performance there, Vi. You've done better. Fuck off. <laughs> B minus then. Now, Clem here. That was a solid A. A plus even. Don't be jealous, Vi. Be better. Um, you kicked ass, Violet. A plus. I know. You're both delusional. You guys see in later video, in the later videos of what I just did, and you guys will see that was a terrible idea to what I just said. They're pretty good. Monsters. Come on, y'all. Boots. Hey! Booty! I'm sorry! Get back to the goddamn wall, huh? So sorry oh about God. that. It, it happens sometimes. <laughs> He's a jumpy little guy. You gonna be okay? <laughs> you can't go around punching people in it. I don't want to expect to meet at the same table. I'll okay, talk I need to stop you. laughing. I'm giving myself a headache. <laughs> hey. Hey. What are you looking at? What's that bird doing? That's gross. He should stop. That bird's a crow. In school, they told us they're called scavengers. Can you say that? Scavengers. No. Scavengers. Scavengers. What's it mean? It means they don't hunt like us. They just eat stuff that's already dead. Huh. Scavengers are gross. Oh, yeah. I didn't mean to hit him. I didn't know that it was Marvin. Marlin. Right. AJ, I'm sure they'll forgive you. But we should go talk to them. But... But I don't think they like me. I can just tell. They don't. They don't know you, AJ. I'll bet when they do, they'll like you just as much as I do. I don't know. Marlin was really mad. And that girl I bit, she yelled at me. They're really scary. <sighs> AJ, listen. We haven't eaten for days. The car is gone. All that's outside these walls are walkers. Do you really want to go back out there? No. <sighs> so we should apologize to Marlin. Right now? Well, we can work up to it. Let's talk to the other kids first. Help AJ make friends. Let's start off with this girl. There's that girl, I bet. Yeah, wanna talk to her? You mean... Say I'm sorry? Yes. She's scary and always seems so mad. 
You can do it. You just gotta... Tell her why you did it. Because of my... thing? Yep. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Just be honest. Yes? I'm sorry I bit you sometimes. When I get scared, I do that, but I don't mean to. I just... I just get scared, and I'm sorry, and I hope your fingers, okay? Oh, no, Shug, it's all right. We can all get a little crazy when we get scared. Thank you for your honesty, and your apology. I did it! You sure did. <laughs> okay, there's one friend. AJ, we have to go and talk. AJ! Uh, brother. Hey guys. Knock it off, Ten. Heard you guys didn't have the best introduction. It wasn't my fault. I really am sorry. Really. I'm sorry too. What is this? Our graveyard. You guys still do that? Kinda, sorta. So, who's buried here? Nobody really. This is where we buried ten sisters' belongings. Minnie and Sophie. Twins. Lost them. Both about a year ago. Paying respects. Should we do that too? Maybe. Yeah, I think that'd be a very nice thing to do, AJ. Come on. Thank you. I'm not ready. Not yet. Okay. Let's talk to someone else. <laughs> He's not ready yet. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's right. There's more people. Uh... Hello? Hello? Oh, hey. It's you two. Clementine, right? Yep. A sim, right? What are you writing? What happened today? I chronicle everything. Hmm, like a diary? I try to think of it more like a history book. Those who do not learn from the past and all that. <sighs> you seemed really mad at Marlin back there. He keeps pulling back the safe zone. We have fewer and fewer places to hunt. Which means we're gonna have fewer and fewer things to eat. The new girl went and helped the hun hunting party come back. She... Hey, zip it! That is not yours to read, kid. Give it back. It was just sitting there. So? So it was just sitting there. AJ, give it back to him. Okay. Thank you. This thing is the only place I get any real privacy around here. I gotta preserve what I can, you know? I gotta finish this before dinner. Not to be, like, rude, but, you know... Bye. Clem? Yeah? I'm ready. To talk to Marlin. Okay. Before we talk to him, AJ, I want to talk to what's his name over here first. Mmm, yes. Hey, guys. Clem, AJ, this is Omar. Eh, excuse me. Chef Omar. Hello, and no, it's not ready yet. Omar's a perfectionist. The slightest flavor out of place, and he's grumpy for a week. You can eat, or you can eat right. All it'll cost you is a little patience. I'll let you guys know when we're done. Okay, I feel like we're missing someone. Oh, 
these people over here. Hey. Hey, you're new. I am. I'm carving a weapon. Uh, yeah, I can see that. You're good at that. You like that, huh, little dude? You wanna see something cool? I wanna see. <laughs> Pretty rad, huh? That's how you fuck up some monsters. Swear. Uh, I'm sorry. Huh. with that. Smart. Uh, I don't know why. I just feel like we're missing a few people. I might be thinking in the future. I'm not sure, though. I probably am. Clementine, right? I'm Brody. He's a sweet little fella. Figured there ain't a lot of room for sweetness still out there. I'm the lucky one. He's just naturally good. Naturally good? That's rare stuff. I'm really sorry I hate you. Can we please stay here and eat dinner and not go out into the forest and get killed by monsters? Well, don't sweat it, buddy. You can make it up to me by teaching me your technique. You are a regular heavyweight. <laughs> hey, Clem! AJ! Stew's done! <laughs> guys earn your supper after all. Ah, uh, brother, I hate this. Ladies and gentlemen, dinner is served. Oh, okay, now we had Thanks. shoes. Wow, can't remember the last time we had a hot meal. Hmm, this is really good. Oh. <laughs> oh, come on. Uh. Hey, slow it up, AJ. You're gonna choke. Just because everything else died doesn't mean manners did. I'll say good night. Good night. Clem. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sure they shared as much as they could. AJ, heads up. I'm full, kiddo. You can have the rest. Are you sure? You bet. <sighs> I'm all done. Mm-hmm. Me too. Now what? I'll tell you what. Time for something very important. Oh, God. Good night. Violet, it's time. What's the game tonight, Lou? War. The oldest game around. A game played by man and beast alike. The only game there is. Sounds fun. How do we play? It's easy. Everyone gets a stack of cards. Everyone flips one over. Highest card wins. And the winner gets to ask Clem a question. What? I want to get to know you. We all do. And what if I win? Then you get to ask us one. It's only fair. Oh, wait. What about AJ? What about him? <laughs> Looks like he's made a friend. You can take your eyes off him for one card game. Bet you both could use a break from each other. Yeah, maybe. This is his first time around anyone his own age. Sometimes he acts more like an adult than a kid. It's nice to see him act like a little boy again. 
Lewis, if you would. Way to go, me. So, about AJ. Where are AJ's parents? You two don't really look related. What happened there? They're dead. They were nice people. For the most part. It makes sense. He's a nice kid. For the most part. Hey, I win. Hey, you do. So, what do you want to know? What's up with your haircut, Marlin? Oh boy. Uh, what do you mean? She means it looks like a dead cat. Probably smells like one too. Uh, I look cool. <laughs> Whatever you say. I say I look cool. <laughs> Booyah! Come on, spit it out. So, uh, ever, uh, ever have a boyfriend? Oh my god. What? It happened. Perfectly valid question. You can ask me if I've ever had a girlfriend. I haven't, by the way. Oh, I'm sure she's real surprised about that one. That stuff is for suckers. Just causes trouble. Amen. Yeah, but the best kind of trouble, right? Ah, I win. So, Clem, you can't have been alone this entire time. Who used to take care of you? Family? Anyone? I had people. Everyone had people at some point. We had adults here. Now we don't. Well, I had people, and now I don't. Fair enough. I uh, nothing should have, like, explained to Lee and all of them. I win again. You do indeed. Ask away. Hmm. You guys meet anyone famous out there? No. Too bad. You'd figure a movie star or something would show up somewhere. They had like millions of dollars. They're probably living in a bunker with butlers and waterbeds out the ass. Yeah, maybe. I met a guy who used to be a baseball player. Like, for money. That's cool. I used to love baseball. Was he good at it? Dunno. We never got to play. He was good with a bat, though. Baseball sucks. You suck. Not as much as baseball. Violet. Here's something I love to ask when I'm in groups. <clears throat> Out of the four of us, who do you think is gonna die first? That is fucked up. <laughs> oh, I know. Lewis, definitely. 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 What? I'd have said the same. greatest card player of all time. Just ask your damn question. <laughs> Ever? Actually, never mind. What? Ask it. It's not a fun question. Ask. Ever had to kill someone you loved? Lewis. Hey, she wanted me to ask. Lee. His name was Lee. It was the same day I found out my parents were dead. That sounds like a rough day. Yeah, worst day of my life. I think I'm done playing for tonight. Yeah, it's probably for the best. You wanted me to ask. Let's go, AJ. Uh, good night. Night, AJ. 
least she has a friend. Long day, huh? Yep, real long. I hope you know Lewis didn't mean any harm there. He's just the world's biggest dumbass. Yeah, he's my best friend, so I can legally call him that. You guys relax. Get some sleep. I'm human for a night. In the morning, come find me. We can talk about making this long term. We can stay? We can talk about it. <laughs> Don't give the kids hopes up. We could hide in there, if a monster came. <laughs> Don't think we'll have to. Oh, well, in case we do. <laughs> this box has so many colors. Well, must have been an artist living in here. What's an artist? It's like a person who colors a lot, draws does pictures. You mean like tin? Yeah, like tin. Huh. I like to do pictures too. Oh, shit. I, I didn't know Marlon set you up in this room. I just wanted to grab something from the closet. Where the hell is it? Oh, uh, what? That's what I was looking for. It belonged to Sophie. Uh, Ten sister. He was asking for more art supplies and stuff, so I was going to. Oh, sorry. We didn't know. No, no. It's it's fine. Don't don't worry about it. Honestly, it's just been sitting here for the past year and no one's touched it. If AJ wants to play with it, it's it's fine. We should here. probably give the box back. It doesn't belong to us. Thanks, buddy. It's just that ten one bit since it was his sister's and all. It's okay. You can finish your drawing, though. I don't mind. Huh. I see you're, um, settling in. Yeah, is that okay? Sure. I guess. I always liked this room. Sophie had, like, paintings and shit on the walls. Lots of color. And Minerva. She was really musical. Not like Lewis, though. She had actual talent. <laughs> she had the most amazing voice. Real bluesy. Marlon always joked that he would scavenge a guitar and the two of them would tour the country. That was a long time ago. After they... Afterwards, Bodhi and Ten took down all the paintings, and that was the end of it. I shouldn't have even brought it up. It's not a good memory. Guess I just lost my train of thought. No, they sound like they were great friends. Yeah, Sophie was a good friend. And Minnie... Uh, we were close. Me and her. What exactly happened to them? Sophie and Minerva. They went scavenging with Marlon and Brody out past the safe zone. Didn't make it back. It happens. Honestly, I just miss having someone around to talk to. There's just so many dudes. This place can get a little too bro town for my liking sometimes. And I'm not exactly, like, a people person, you know? I know I sometimes have a habit, have a habit of being a little bit too harsh. Yeah, me too. First impressions aren't exactly my strong suit either. Oh, right. Hey, Clem, I'm an artist now.
Not bad, kiddo. I should be getting back. Thanks again for the box. You're pretty cool, AJ. See ya. Yeah, see ya. Okay, Alvin Jr., time for bed. Okay, here. For me? For the wall, to make our home look nice. That's a good idea, AJ. How about here? Uh, AJ? Morning, Al. <laughs> hey there. What are you doing? This is where I'm gonna sleep. <laughs> what? No, it's not. It's safe under here. No one can get me. You're gonna get cold down there. The bed's a lot warmer. What about the door? What if someone comes in? What if they try to hurt us? What if they steal our stuff? <sighs> I'll keep watch. I'll sleep with one eye open if I have to. You can't sleep like that. I tried. If I stay here, no one can find me. And I can keep guard and watch over you. I can protect us. <sighs> hey, what's gotten into you? Please, Clem. It's not so bad down here. AJ, listen to me. It's gonna be okay. Please just give the bed a chance. It's soft and warm. I think you'll really like it. Huh. This bed is really soft. Told you so. It's really, really soft. <laughs> Good night, AJ. Clem? Hmm? This place is nice. I'm glad we found it. Me too. Okay, how much time do we have? I feel like we're about to Let's go to another chapter, but I'm not sure. 21. Not too bad. Music. Hopefully, it doesn't break this time. He's gonna let us stay, right? I guess we're gonna find out. Let's find his office. I know where it is. I'll show you. Up here. Come on, Clem, this way. Please don't. Please hey, do AJ, not break. Wait up. I'm very terrified of that, guys, by the way. Hey, Clem. Thanks for the pencils. I missed having colors. Sure thing. Who are these guys? They are firefighters. That one's a policeman. She's gonna save the day. But what are they? They, these were the people who protected us. Where are they? I've never seen one before. They're still out there. Someday, maybe you'll meet one. That would be cool. Super cool. No, give it to me, yeah. No, he's mine now. Hey, give it back. No. You don't even know what they are. Okay, okay. That's enough, you two. It's not yours anymore. Clem, please. It's mine. No, it's not. Uh, fine. Thanks. Do you know where Marlon is? I don't know. He should be around. I can go find him. 
That'd be nice. Thanks, Ten. Look! Hey, what'd you find? It's a picture. kids left, and I'd like it if you and AJ were part of that. Both of you are plenty capable, and we need that. Here. This is the current state of our plan for gathering food. We are starting to run short. It's getting harder and harder to feed everyone in this school. That's the train station. There was a whole stash of food under the floorboards. Oh, where you crashed your car? Are you sure that place a lost cause? There's a hell of a lot of smoke coming from it when we found you two. Walkers flooded in there after all the noise you made. What's out here? Oh, that's where we fish. Uh, got a shack for storage right here, right along the river. It's secure mostly. You get the occasional walker or two come by. Find Brody should be heading out there in a bit. What's the trap area? The hunting grounds, more or less. Lewis built some traps out there to catch game. He and Sam are set to go check them today. I didn't realize how much forest surrounds this place. It's how we've kept ourselves from unwanted attention for so long. Well, for the most part. It, you'll eventually end up in the valley. We used to have signs that led people to the school, but I took them down. We wanted this place to be hard to find. The greenhouse? Oh, yeah. Well, don't get too excited about that one. We used to maintain it real well. We had plenty of vegetables growing. But it became overgrown. Upkeep was impossible. Yeah, we, uh, we keep away from that now. One more thing. See these red lines? Yeah. So everything inside is the safe zone. It's been getting smaller over the years, and the food's become more scarce. So, why not go outside it? I can't. Whenever someone goes outside the safe zone, bad shit happens. People die or disappear. I just... <clears throat> I 
could really use the help, Clementine. Taking care of these kids, it's not easy. I'm worried that if I don't figure something out, if, if I don't fix our food situation, I can't lose anyone else. You've already lost so much. Friends, siblings, I can't let another kid die. We're not gonna let that happen. I promise. counting on me to step up. Be the leader they need me to be. I really want to be that for them. You and AJ are two more mouths to feed. Maybe you can help me feed the rest. So what do you need from us? Lewis and Asim are heading to the hunting grounds, looking for rabbits. Well, Asim will, anyway. Lewis, well, uh, just hope he shows up. Violet and Brody are going up river to do some spearfishing. Hopefully, those two get along long enough to get some work done. Both teams could use some extra hands. I want to do fishing. We're gonna go fishing. Okay. Take this. I don't want you getting lost. Thanks. We need all hands on deck if we're gonna find any more food. Just remember to stay in the safe zone. We need you to come back home in one piece. So that means we can stay? What? Do you think I was gonna throw you out? Maybe. Well, as long as we got enough to eat, we're both welcome here. Go get him, AJ. All right, let's get going. Okay, I don't think the music is a bug. I think See, this right. area is only it's full of music. That's what it seems like. Every time we're in this area with these people at that building, it seems like the music plays. So I think that's supposed to happen. We could all go on a road trip together. Road trip? Why bother? It's not like there's anything worth seeing anymore. Oh, come on. I'm sure there's plenty of stuff to see. Maybe Clem could show us around. You're able to get a car working, and you know how to drive? Barely. Come on, Vi. I've never driven in my life, but I'd love to learn. Are you sure you trust my driving? I promise I don't usually crash. <laughs> Oh, right. On second thought. Yeah, I think Clem just totaled the last working car in the world. So much for your road trip. Are we going to the car? No, bud. It's broken. Good. I'm sick of the car. I wish this old rust bucket was still working. We could just jump in and start driving. We could take turns sitting in the back. It'd be like driving one of those cars with the top that goes down. We'd run out of gas eventually. But still, it's fun to imagine, isn't it? <laughs> Where would you go, Clem? If you could drive anywhere you wanted. If gas wasn't an issue. Or a busted carburetor, or flat tires, or the transmission. Buzzkill. I'd drive down to the coastline. Maybe park on the beach and go swimming. That'd be an absolute dream. You could spend every day in the sun. And die of skin cancer. Fun. We're all gonna die. I'll take skin cancer over turn it into a walker any day. <laughs> I've lived here my entire life. Heck, I'd say I know every inch of these woods. I'd kind of like to unknow it. No use dreaming of what could be. We've got shit to do. Yeah, I guess we should get to work on those fish. We got spears inside the shack. Come on. You go ahead. I'll stay out here. Where are those spears? Hey, if 
about by. I'm sorry she's being a little mean. It's my fault. What do you mean? I was there when those walkers killed Sophie and Minnie. They were really close with Vi, and I think she blames me for what happened to them. I mean, how do you even apologize for something that fucked up? I don't know. Maybe I deserve it. You should talk to her about it. I'm sure she'll listen. <sighs> yeah, right. I tried. I have. It just never seems like the right time. We all used to be friends. Guess I just kind of missed that. But when you showed up, I don't know. I just haven't seen her warm up to someone in a long time. Hmm. Is that, uh, are those the spears you're looking for, lady? I mean... <laughs> I hate to ask this of you, but do you think you could talk to her? See how she feels? About me? It's just been eating me up inside. Sure thing, Brody. I can talk to her. Really? That's great. Thanks, Clementine. I'm gonna go check our fish traps downstream. Hey, what the hell is taking you two so long? See? I'll take this to Vi. There should be some extras lying around. Find extra spear. Just some old gardening supplies. Hey you, what you looking at? V plus M. Violet and Minerva. What does that mean? It means that they were a couple. What? Violet was Minnie's girlfriend. Oh. Love. Oh, the spear. Oh, okay, there's one spear left. It's over there. How do we run again? Uh, this button. Cool. Ready to get some fish? Yeah. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Can I join you? Sure. Hey, check out these guys over here. They're swimming against the current. I guess I don't realize it makes them easier targets. I wanna try. Take a spear. Go nuts. <laughs> Go ahead and try. They're not running. <clears throat> hey, uh, sorry if I was weird last night about the whole room thing. Seeing someone else in there. Uh, it was harder than I expected. You'd think I'd be less sentimental by now. <clears throat> uh, I'm sorry. We weren't trying to upset you. No, no, it's okay. Seriously, it's kind of nice having someone in there again. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, come on. I, I was yeah, right. Guys. Uh, yeah, okay. God. Sometimes she just gets on my last nerve, you know? Yeah, I can tell. I mean, it's it's not like I hate her. I just... <clears throat> I wish we could all go on a road trip together. God, she's so... Oh. She definitely thinks you hate her. So fast, come on. Come here, Mr. Fishing. Got you. Yes. Looks like they wisened up. Maybe Brody had better luck with the traps. I 
got one. Clem, I got one. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> I don't know what the problem is between us. With Brody. I don't know why it's like this. Why is it so weird? I can never relax around her. It just keeps getting worse. Maybe because she never said sorry about Sophie and Minnie and not being able to save them. Did she tell you that? Hmm, more or less. She wants to talk about it, you know. I just, I feel guilty about the whole thing. Why? I was supposed to be out with the twins that day. I wanted to work in the greenhouse, so I asked Brody to cover for me. But then... I didn't even get to say goodbye. I... I wanted to talk to Brody. To tell her I didn't blame her for what happened, but every time I tried, I was reminded of who we lost. It was easier to just not talk about it. We should get going. You guys catch any fish? We caught some, but not a lot. I didn't get anything. We should catch up with Lewis and Asim, see if they had any better luck. The Grand Canyon. What? That's where I'd go. If we took a road trip, start driving until we hit the Grand Canyon. Yeah, that would be cool. Thanks. Okay, hey, you slow folks coming? Here. Yeah, we're right behind you. I want you to see if I'll turn on so I can see what this, what time, time we have. Okay, we have two minutes. I wanna pull, I'm gonna end it here, guys, because we have like two minutes. I hope you guys finished your snacks. And finish your drinks. Hope you guys and make sure you enjoy. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know I did. Hope you guys had a good time. And hope we see more Clem next video. We do. Because I want to. I want to make three Walking Dead. You guys might kill me for that. But I want to do three Walking Dead. I'm not gonna do it right now. I'm gonna do it later. Tomorrow maybe. Or hopefully try to get a Fortnite. Hopefully I can. Anyway, I hope you guys had a good time, and I got, and hopefully you guys gather your supplies to survive the zombie apocalypse, and let's have a good night, sleep, or a good day of wherever you are, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.